We start with the ever-evolving migrant situation, how the city of El Paso is reacting to the latest developments, and how the mayor of New York is calling out the Sun City for its role. Good evening, I'm Carla Draxler, and thank you so much for joining us. Now, as hundreds of migrants continue to cross into El Paso daily, the deputy city manager is saying this is a refugee issue rather than migration. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap joins us live in the studio with more. Carla, this is the majority are from Venezuela that are crossing into El Paso and according to the city of El Paso, about half of those migrants that are crossing do not have sponsors in the U.S. Now, Deputy City Manager Mario Diagostino saying that it should be a model that should be used that happened back when the Afghan refugees were brought here to El Paso. Such as was done with the Afghan and then they set up the Afghan village out here in our region. The, that's a model where they can get them in. They can get the skill set they need and the tools they need so they can be successful on their own. Deputy City Manager Mario Diagostino explaining why he says this is a refugee situation, not just a migration issue. These people are allowed into the country. They have no means to get to where they want to go, first of all. Second of all, they don't have the ability to go straight to work. And so we're setting them, we're not giving them the tools they need to be successful. An Army veteran living in the U.S. who served four years in Afghanistan says some of his family members from Afghanistan were brought over as refugees in 2021, speaking with us about the situation of migrants coming to the U.S. with no sponsors. It would be very difficult for them to survive without a sponsor and uh, without having legal documents to work in the United States. And living uh, here in the United States is very expensive, as you may know. Uh, and if you don't have any financial support or income, it will be very, very difficult to live here uh, to, in the States. We reached out to County Commissioner and Attorney specializing in immigration, Ileana Olguin, about the differences between migrants who come to the U.S. to seek asylum and refugees. The determination of whether or not someone um, is being persecuted or suffering persecution in their home country and qualifies to either be a refugee um, or an asylee, the difference between those two is where the person is when that determination is made. Olguin explaining that if the person is determined to be persecuted while still in their country, then they are considered a refugee. While the determination for asylum seekers, that process doesn't start until they are in the U.S. Carla, back to you.